In this video, we will learn to use CD4026 counter IC. The CD4026 is a decade counter integrated circuit, with decoded outputs for driving, a common cathode 7 segment LED display. An advantage of this IC is that, it has decade counter functionality, together with a 7 segment decoder driver. Now first let's see the functionality of each pin of this counter IC. As you know that 7 segment LED displays consume much power, therefore, this chip has a special function pin, that is display enable in pin, you should make this pin high, when a display is required. Otherwise, set it to a low logic level. This is useful, if you have many display panels, because you could switch them on only, when required, thereby saving power. The pin to which provides clock inhibit function. It is used when you want to stop the count, by blocking the clock signal at pin 1. In this example, we will not be stopping the counter this way, it is best to tie it to the ground to keep it low. If you connect it to logic high, then it would inhibit the clock signal at pin 1. The next important pin is carry out pin, it produces one pulse at the count of 10 or when counter completes its counting from 0 to 9 and this is usually used as a clock pulse for the next counter stage. For example, if you want to design a two digit counter, then we can use a carry out pin to cascade more than two chips. We will see this example, later on in this video. Pins A to G, are used to connect with 7 segment display. Now let's design a single digit counter in Proteus with a 7 segment display. First connect a clock signal to pin 1 which is a clock signal pin. After that make pin 2 logic low, because we want to enable clock signal. Also connect, logic low to reset pin, because connecting logic high resets the counter IC. Also, make pin 3 logic high to enable output pins. Now connect the common cathode type 7 segment display, with output pins A to G. Now click on the Proteus play button. As you can see, the decimal number from 0 to 9, displays on 7 segment device. And you can also observe that, the output transition occurs on every positive edge of clock cycle. You can also see that, as soon as counter resets to 0 value again, carry output pin goes high for some time. We can use this pulse to design 2 or more digits display. The speed of counting displays, depends on the clock frequency. The clock signal, can be provided using a triple five timer IC, or any TTL compatible IC, which generates pulses of high and low voltages. For example, if you are using a clock of frequency 1 Hz. That means a time period of 1 second. Therefore, after every 1 second counter gets incremented by 1. Now let's see how to use the carry out pin, and design a two digit decimal counter.
Similarly, if you want to design a two digital counter circuit, you will need two CD402060 coders, and two seven segment displays. Now let's design a circuit. This circuit works similar to the last circuit. But the only difference is the use of CO pin, and clock pin use for the 10th position 7 segment display. Because, we want to increment the 10th place 7 segment value, only after the unit place 7 segment completes its counting from 0 to 9, and resets. After every reset, the carry out pin sends an active high signal to the second IC. In short, this carry out signal acts like a positive edge clock. Therefore, the second counter increments its value on every reset of the first counter IC. Now click on the Proteus play button, and observe the output. As you can see, output of the second 7 segment changes, only when the first 7 segments resets to zero. Similarly, you can increase this circuit to more than two digits displays, by cascading more CD4026 counter ICs. Thanks for watching, see you in next video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel.